Yep. And you're certainly sharing that story because this year <laughs> before this whole like pandemic, there was a huge, it almost feels like a lifetime ago, but you, you oh, won something gosh. big Two, not just one somethings, two somethings. Oh my goodness. And that is, you won yeah. uh, municipality of the year for uh, under 50,000. And you were also yeah. one of only 43 people named to the, uh, what was the oh, official the title? Festivals and Events Ontario Hall of Fame. There it is. Isn't that yeah. something? And well, that's because you're the, doing what you just said. You're sharing the story of uh, Senator Wellington. Thank, so thank you very much. Tell us a little um, bit about that tonight. That night. Oh, th well, the night was very cool um, because, I, well, for two things. I, I, it, and I got completely scammed by my township CAO and, and um, my senior managers, all the folks that I report to, and, and a lot of my colleagues, because um, we had, uh, a team of us had worked very hard on the application for um, uh, the municipality of the year, uh, 50,000 and under. And that was with respect to the amount of work and efforts and partnership that goes into a community in presenting festivals and events. So it's not just a case of being a community that hosts huge events, which of course we do. We have so many signature events, the Allura Festival, Fergus Scottish Festival and Highland Games, the Fergus Fall Fair, an event like that, that has 180 years plus in being, in being presented with, within this community. It was not only the roster of festivals and events, it was the work and the behind the scenes that goes in to making us a true festival and event destination. So those festivals, those festivals and events in themselves are signature premier provincial and some nationally um, renowned events. But along with that is the work that goes in the volunteer base, which comes from our community. It's the support of our public works department who put up the no parking, who put up the road barricades to close the streets for those festivals and events. It's our business area who choose to engage and embrace all of these festivals and events that are taking place. It's our own township um, corporation and how they are able to work magic in the protocol to allow these festivals and events to be able to uh, to be able to to be nurtured and to grow and many municipalities might say well yeah you can go and do that but that's as far as it goes I would say that our public works community services the staff at our parks, um, the mindset in our cultural um, fiber of, of what we have here in Center Wellington, all support and foster the growth of those festivals and events. So it was a very, very cool honor.